Things are pretty tranquil right now, but a little on the foggy side. So keep that in mind this morning. You're heading out. There's been some fog to contend with for at least the first couple of hours of the day. Certainly during that morning commute, we look at time lapse. Watch the starlight become fog. As temperatures drop to the dew point level. See that fog developing. A little bit of a stratus cloud cover begin to roll in. And see the, the level of that stratus layer uh, slowly drop as we lose that visibility. It's very uh, foggy this morning. Looking now northward from uh, Rochester, uh, downtown Rochester, Lewis did auto cameras and fog. Uh, certainly evident in the distance and uh, surrounding the city. Visibility really dropping quite a bit. We're down to a quarter mile right now officially in Rochester. Same deal in Austin and Dodge Center, North Iowa. A little better, most spots three or four miles, but southeast Minnesota, certainly this pocket of counties around Rochester looking particularly gray, murky, and foggy. So again, the one concern here for the next uh, few hours until about 8 o'clock this morning. Then the fog looks to lift. Skies will slowly break up and we'll have some sunshine. And uh, actually, a fairly mild day is headed our way. Temperatures this morning, not half bad for this time of the morning, about five or six degrees above the seasonal average for this portion of the morning. 51 right now in Rochester, Austin 50, Albert Lee 45, and Winona a mild 57. It's pretty thick fog outside, 51 at the Rochester International Airport. Uh, winds light out of the north at 6 miles per hour. Air pressure is steady. Had high pressure working its way in the tail end of a storm system that just a couple days ago brought some unsettled weather, some showers for parts of the weekend, even up until Saturday night. We had some spotty showers around, but high pressure has been nudging its way in. It's going to stick around for the next couple of days in the heels of that departing storm system, making for a nice stretch of some quiet, mild weather, at least through Wednesday, before we see any type of uh, large scale changes uh, to the situation. Temperatures aren't going to change that much even beyond that, but Rain chances are a few days off. 51 right now in Rochester, a little warmer and eastward, uh, surrounded by that storm system. Uh, 64 right now in Green Bay, 61 Alpena. To the west, it's clear and cool and crisp and autumnal, very fall like. 48 in Rapid City, 55 in Minot. So some fog early, then some sunshine today. A few spotty showers midweek hours. We're talking uh, mainly Thursday at this point. A mild weekend that may fe feature also just a brief shower or two. Some fog at first this morning, then gradual clearing. Some peaks of sunshine. 51 for the morning commute. Going from fog and clouds to increasing sun. A few passing fair weather clouds this afternoon. 68 around 2 o'clock. Overall high temperature right around 70 today, which is still pretty mild for this time of the year. Keeping in mind 64 would be the seasonal average today. Some fog and some scattered clouds around the air in the back of that storm system that's now wobbling its way across the Great Lakes. Some uh, light north winds temperatures again very mild right around 70. Great looking weather overall for fall standards. And then again tomorrow same situation. Spotty showers east of us. We're going to stay mainly uh, quiet and dry here with a few uh, passing clouds. And uh, again on Wednesday we'll have another quiet day on the back side of the high pressure. A little more energy from the south does rotate in behind that high pressure once it moves on through that may bring a shower chance to Thursday and then over the weekend we'll have a mild stretch of weather, but maybe a brief shower late Saturday as well. But today some fog, then some sunshine. Partly sunny, uh, fairly light north breeze around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Some uh, of that fog until about 8, maybe 8.30 this morning. 51, partly cloudy skies tonight. Uh, still fairly comfortable for this time of the year. 70 forecast, few spotty showers Thursday afternoon. Then again, maybe a shower or two late Saturday with a couple of uh, minor storm systems working their way through. But otherwise, a decent stretch of very comfortable fall weather and a lot of sun. Yeah, a bunch of 70s on that list. I yeah. like to see it. No, no 80s this week like last week. That's but okay. this is a little closer to normal, but still very nice. Yeah, thank you so much, Ted.